Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I, just a peasant, am happy to announce that my theory crafting episode five attack was a complete success. Yeah. So if you're as excited as me to watch this、uh, replay, I just want to point out first and emphasize, guys, that careful planning and execution is bloody satisfying. Oh yeah. So <laughs> let's go into this attack, shall we?、Um, I did make a slight change at the start, so I'm gonna pause here and explain the change.、Um, if you watch my theory crafting attack,、uh, sorry, theory crafting video. I did say I'll, I'll put put the link in the description below, but、um, my in my theory crafting video I did say I was going to place two golems simultaneously here、um, to uh, tank th both of these towers, but I was afraid that the golem on the left might come down this way to attack the、um, cannon because it's quite a short distance, so I needed to make sure that doesn't happen because I want two golems to be in this compartment and one golem to be in this one. So what I did was I place a golem here first, and as this golem golem walks to Um, take the hits from this cannon tower. I、um, this I would place another golem here, and this golem, although I could have placed him here as well to come this side, and then this、uh, arch tower would attack it.、Um, but if that happened, then I needed to, if if I place my wall breakers here, I was afraid that this cannon would attack that wall breaker. So,、um, so because I wanted the because、uh, I wanted to have my wizards everything here, I wanted my my golems to be you know one over here, one over here, one over here. So,、um, to spread out. So I was going to take、um, a risk to place the golem here and see if this golem attacks this、um, tower or this wall which covers this tower, or if this golem takes the extra long way to come to this cannon.、Um, if that golem Attacks this wall, then it's good. I can just place my wall breaker, break that wall, and then my golems will go in, and then、uh, my wizards can go ahead, and I can place my third golem here to tank this uh, uh, cannon tower. But if that golem doesn't do that, and that golem instead comes down this way, the long way to come to attack this archer,、uh, sorry, this cannon tower, then I can still place the、uh, two wall breakers. Because then all these towers would be attacking, you know, my golems, and then my wall breakers can break this wall, and then I place the third golem. Then this golem will come in this side,、um, and then I have one golem here and two golems here still. So that was my plan,、um, and because of the nature of this golem being taking、uh, taking damage from two of both two towers instead of one,、um, I decided to place the the clan castle、um, golem first. I mean, clan castle golem here. So that the、uh, clan castle golem has a little bit more HP to tank two towers instead of just instead of placing them some placing the golem simultaneously.、Um, so yeah,、um, you'll see that happen. So、uh, I'll be so yeah. Before I start, I'll just want to say that I will pause the、uh, video once during the attack because there's two things that's happening、um, at the same time. So and they're and and it's really difficult to、uh, catch both. Um, so I'll be pausing it in between、uh, to to just explain what's happening. So guys, it's going to start. I will be placing my golem here, and when the golem comes down, I will place the clan castle golem over here, like that. And seeing that the clan castle golem will be、uh, attacking this wall, I place the wizards and I place the wall breakers down first before I place the golem.、Um, I probably should have placed the golem first because. As you can see, this cannon took out two wizards, and when the cannon took out two wizards, I'm like, oh boy!、Um, so I replenished it with three. <laughs> you take out two wizards, come down, come three. Place the、uh, wall breakers down to open that hole. So I'm gonna pause here, as I said, I was going to.、Um, I'm, I have two golems here, which is exactly what I want to happen. I have four wizards in there as well. One's gonna die to the Tesla,、um, and、uh, clan castle troops have come out. So、uh, what I what I'm gonna do with this side is I'm gonna place a rage over here to have my wizards and the queen take out the clan castle troops ASAP. I'm gonna place a jump so that my golems can jump over to start attacking or working on all these cannons here, and I'm gonna place a heal because I don't want these golems to die to the dragon at all. I want the golems to tank over here,、uh, which is what my the the strategy what what I what I was planning to have to happen. 
So those three spells are going to come down here. This side, the golem is going to. Well, the golem has already um, uh, attracted the um, the queen, and the queen's going to start attacking my golem. And then you'll see my king and my wizards. Actually, my wizards are going to do this instead of my king. They're going to come down here and take the uh, queen out in just about two or three hits. Because the queen is very, very weak towards a wizard. Wizard does so much damage to a queen. And my king doesn't even have ch the chance to attack the queen. Um, so that's what's going to happen in here. My golem is just going to start, as you can see, starts um, you know, tanking every single uh, tower in here, including these um, archer towers as well. So that golem is, you know, that golem is just so well tanky. So you can see the queen goes down very quickly. All the uh, uh, the clan castle troop goes down as well. So at this point in state uh, uh, of time, I the golems have come into where I wanted them to go. So it's time to place my hogs. So I place my hogs surgically. I place the giant over here. I place another giant over here as well, as you can see. And I'll surgically place three hogs in each of these um, towers outside. And um, because I've surgically placed them, it was so well done that my hogs are so have so much HP. And the attack is already finished at this time, I, that I don't even need to place this heal because the last surviving tower, which is this expo, is attacking my golem. So, as you can see, that heal was not even necessary, and this has turned out to be a bloody successful and smooth attack. Guys, and we're just gonna let it run. We're nearing to the end of the video, and as we near to the end of the video, I just wanna s make a few comments. Um, Number one, uh, if you guys did see, uh, did notice at the start, the uh, royals are actually a little bit weaker than mine. So the queen is 14, the king is 10, uh, compared to my both 15 king and queen. Um, but even if the uh, enemy king and queen are what say level 20, I would s this the the same outcome would still happen, because over here at this first compartment. There were no royals, so this first compartment will go exactly as what, you know, what 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 happened right now. So the two the, the two golems would still come down here and everything, and you know the rage and the the, the heal would still look after and take out the clan castle troops. And then over here, even if the queen is level twenty, the queen is going to go down in three or four hits from my wizards anyway. So that queen is not really gonna have like any attack, and the king, the king actually um, came out this way, and he he went down to my king. Uh, when I used his ability, so my king actually got um the, the 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 my king actually attacked his king, and with the ability took out his king. So even if his king was level twenty, it's the, the outcome is still going to be exactly the same. So what I'm trying to say is, guys, the point I'm going to make. Every attack we can learn something and this attack we want to learn to really plan your attack out, to actually take a few more minutes of your time to carefully plan exactly what you want to happen. Picture exactly what you want happen in your attack and carefully execute it. Carefully plan it and carefully execute it. So how do we carefully execute it? Your golems. Look after your golems, guys. Your golems are so crucial in this attack, in any attack, because you don't want your golems to go, you know, into the base without having any support. Um, you want you because the golems are so tanky, but they do so little damage. They're actually very high in usefulness, but very easy to screw up as well when you don't follow them up with enough wizards, or if you don't give them chance to have your wizards, you know, to come. And, and, and keep them alive. So guys, how do we keep our golems alive? How do we look after our golems? By making sure only one tower attacks your golem at the start. At the very start, if you can, place your golem strategically so that only one tower is attacking them, or at least only one single target tower is attacking those golems. And then, Plan your attack well so that you know if you want your golems to go to a specific place, you know if they need a heal, you might need to heal them. You know you have to place the jump for them. You need to place the jump correctly for them. Place the rage for the wizards behind them so that they they look after your golems. So guys, look after your golems um, during your attacks. That's you know that's one thing we can take out of this. And at this end of, and 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 now that we've come to the end of the video, um, yeah, I I hope you guys enjoyed it. 
if you guys did, do click the like button. If you guys want to watch more theory crafting and hopefully more three star theory crafting attacks, do subscribe. I'll be posting a lot more of these for you guys. And yeah, so guys, until next time, until the next video, don't stop gaming, keep on clashing, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.